Hey everyone, it's Josh with the Envision Blog, and today I'm going to talk to you about my experience being deafblind and wearing a mask. Yes, deafblindness and wearing one of these. The inspiration for this video actually came from the past two months that I've spent working as a summer camp after school preschool summer teacher. At the job I worked, I was required to wear a mask basically for the entire day, um, inside, outside, and still maintaining the social distancing, only really taking it off to eat. And I feel that my experience being a person with legal blindness and being hard of hearing, wearing hearing aids and wearing a mask, really prompted the idea for a good video and opportunity to share my experience and hopefully give you guys some awareness about what I went through. Now before I dive into the bulk of this video, I just want to make sure that you understand what this video is not. Number one, this video is in no way, shape, or form meant to have any political undertones, so don't be looking into it too much because there's no politics here. Number two, this video is in no way, shape, or form meant to show support for wearing a mask or show anything against wearing a mask. I'm literally just telling y'all about my experience. And number three, this video is just about my experience wearing a mask. I am not using it as a platform to complain. I am not using it as a platform to whine. I am just using it as a way to share my experience and raise awareness. By that same token, I understand that there are other disabilities and uh, debilitations that can come with wearing a mask or that are affected by wearing a mask. And just because I'm talking about my experience, I'm not trying to play down those. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video talking about the vision aspect. And a lot of it comes from wearing the mask. Because for me, I analyzed it and I literally saw a situation where I could not win. I'm already legally blind with corrected lenses. I put this thing on and then my glasses would just fog up. So I'm legally blind with corrective lenses and now my lenses have fogged up. Making me even more blind than I already am. On the flip side, I had to actually take my glasses off so that way I didn't have to deal with the fogginess and then I can't see anyway. So a lot of my struggle when it came to wearing my glasses, when it came to wearing the mask, actually related on having to choose between the lesser of the two evils in the sense of what I could and could not see. And keep in mind, where I worked, we went outside a lot. So my glasses were always fogging up. So I really had no choice but to go without my glasses. And surprisingly enough, I could do my job just fine. The other struggle that comes with my vision is identifying people. I feel at this point my vision has gotten to the point where if it doesn't recognize someone's whole face, my brain will just fill in the other details. So I could literally have my eyes only perceive about a little bit of someone's face, but then my brain will be like, well, that looks like someone we know, so we'll just fill the rest of it in. And that's a little difficult sometimes because when people wear these, it literally throws something that's totally brand new that my brain has not processed yet. I would have to get used to seeing people wearing these masks so that way my brain could process what these people now look like with a mask on. I know it sounds crazy, but it's absolutely true. Another section of my vision that was also weird was that even with face shields, it was strange. I had this plastic face shield that went over my face and it had a band that would go around the top of my head and, you know, if we didn't want to wear a mask, we could wear the face shield. And even that posed problems regarding my vision. For one, I could breathe all right and my glasses didn't fog up but those face shields got scratched so much that the scratches on the face shield impeded my vision as well. So I'm literally going around and having to pick what would be the best option, you know, out of all of these. And that in itself was kind of a struggle because I had to experience wearing each and having, you know, wearing a mask and a face shield with and without my glasses to really kind of figure out what worked the best. So that's pretty much how it goes for the vision. You know, it's not really that bad. I'm still able to do what I need to do without my glasses. 
And you know, typically in areas where I would use my glasses, um, you know, normally I'm not around a lot of people or I'm just alone at home, so I can just go ahead and use them as I need to and take the mask off. Where I ran into a majority of my issues when it came to my mask was actually my hearing. In one area of my life where my vision and my hearing actually collide is where I actually use my vision to somewhat read lips of other people. Now, I am in no way, shape, or form a lip reading master, but I do, you know, look at people's lips to kind of help decipher what they say or help me understand them better. When someone has a mask over their face, one, I can't read lips, and then two, it makes it harder for me to hear. I understand that they have those nifty face masks that are clear and that everyone can read lips, but at the same time, you don't see those getting pushed out as much as just your regular cloth mask that, you know, everybody's wearing. Now, another section in terms where, you know, the mask was an issue for my hearing was sweat. When you have electronics in your ears, sweat rain, water, n none of it's your friend. I'm on par with the cat when it comes to water. So with being outside with the kids and being out in the heat for long periods of time, what would happen is these bands would actually get waterlogged with sweat. And then when they would get waterlogged, they would actually rub up against my hearing aids and then literally cause my hearing aids to go <laughs> Yes, and then the sound would disappear just like that. So when that would happen, I would either have to take a dry brick or this sort of device, which is a drying apparatus, cleaning apparatus, and I would leave it in there for 30 minutes to an hour and until it was dried out and I could wear it again. So that's 30 minutes to an hour where I may not have hearing in my left or right ear. And if it was both ears, that was a struggle. It really wasn't my idea of fun, but it was one of those things where I had to prepare for it because I knew what I was dealing with. You know, that's one of the reasons why I carried around this apparatus. That's one of the reasons why I carried around my dry brick because I wanted to make sure that if sweat got in the hearing aids, I could easily dry them out. And don't get me wrong, I took preventative measures. I wore hats. I made sure to, you know, wipe my hair off, everything else. But, you know, regardless, when you're out there in the wonderful southern blistering heat, um, you're going to sweat. And when you're a person with hearing aids, it's not always the best thing in the world. And then throw in the mask on top of it. And the final section regarding my hearing and where this mask did not really see eye to eye was in terms of the wires on my hearing aids. Now most of you know from seeing my past videos that I do wear hearing aids that actually go over the ear and have the receiver in the back. With that being the way it is, there is a little sort of rubbery wire that sits right here on my ear. The wire does not bother me one bit. However, when it comes to wearing a mask, um, it can be a little bit of an issue. Because this earpiece right here can actually create a lot of tension and press down on one's ear, imagine if there's just a little bitty wire right there. And this mask is tangled up in it and it pushes it down. So literally you have this little wire digging in to your skin all day long. That hurts, man. So yeah, it really hurts. And the only way I can really combat it is if I am super, super careful and super, super cognizant of how I put my mask on. Instead of just, you know, throwing it on over like this and then just having that thing go across the wire like that, I actually have to make sure that I reach in, I pull the hearing aid a certain way, get the mask right there near it, and then do the same on this side. So that way the hearing aid is not being smushed by the mask. And just as putting it on requires extra care and attention, taking it off is the same thing. I can't be like a normal person who can just, just, just take it right off, throw it out. No, I cannot do that. 
I cannot just take this thing off all willy-nilly. I actually have to be very calculative in how I do it. Because if I don't exercise care when doing it, essentially, I get this number right here. I don't like having my hearing aids pulled like that because eventually this can actually wear down the wire and if it wears down the wire, it disrupts the signal from the receiver into my ears and I will have to go and get them fixed. I will literally have to have my wires replaced. So just as I would put the mask on very carefully, I would also take it off very carefully so that way I could prolong the longevity of my hearing aids. My hearing aids are more than just a tool for me to do my job, but they really do increase the quality of my life in terms of my ability to communicate and interact with other people and listen to the things around me and be aware. And you know, I want to prolong the life of my hearing aids as long as I can before they need to either be fixed or you know, before they need to be replaced. So that sort of wraps up my experience with wearing a mask and you know being visually impaired as well as hard of hearing. I hope you guys noticed that typically for every issue that I face, you know, typically I have found a way around it or I have found a means of fixing the issue quickly, whether it's being cognizant of how I'm wearing a mask or having one of these in my everyday carry in the event that, you know, I do get a waterlogged mask band and, you know, my hearing aids get waterlogged. I just wanted to make this video to kind of explain what I'm going through in wearing a mask and, you know, explain how it's kind of affected my life. We all have been affected by events in the world, and for many of us, this is the new normal. And just as when we had our previous normal life, I had experiences that were different from others because of my deaf blindness, just as now in our new normal, this creates a different experience as well. Not necessarily something to complain about, not necessarily something to whine about, but absolutely something I want to share and you know, put out there as a standpoint of awareness and education. So that is gonna do it for the video today. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, my little take on my experience wearing a mask and being deafblind. As always, if you're enjoying the content and you want to support me and what I do here at the Envision blog, please subscribe and always drop a thumbs up. I know you guys see it on a lot of other YouTube channels about the whole thumbs up thing, but it really does help with the algorithm and help push the channel along um, and helping me grow and spread my message to others. But with that being said, this is Josh with the Envision blog, signing off.